Hello, hope you're doing great. Reza from Visual Components is here. In this tutorial, we will learn together how to add safety measures around your robotic work cell. So at this point, my work cell, which looks like this, doesn't have any safety. So our operators are delivering parts to the robot using process modeling. So click on process tab and then activate the processes. And then the robot is doing some work on the part and then the part is delivered to the syncing process over here. I will leave you this layout starting point next to the tutorial so that you can start from the same point as me. In the first step what I would do is to add some safety fences around the area. So I'm going to go to facilities of the factory and scroll down. There are some doors as we go down and some pillars as well as fences. But I am searching for the fence builder component. That's a quick way to create fences around the layout. So let's go to tools and then start drawing on the top view. Of course, you could choose any other view as you wish so and I'm gonna just quickly create a fence area in this way so the defaults tab also gives you the option to create fences or walls or indoor walls and the fences could have different types so glass fence wire fence which I'm gonna select for this one and then panel after you have the borders and also the type of the safety wall or fence when it's selected then I would just click on populate components. So you see now we have the wired fences. If you don't need this fence builder component you can just delete it. Beautiful. So what's next at this point is we need a door. So I'm going to just scroll down and it's a rolling steel door so I'm gonna just put it on the area and this door is a little bit short in length so let me just go and see how much is the length of the path that humans can go and come so this is 2400 let's say 40 2440 and then I'm going to just going to attach it to the wall and notice that I am in the PNP mode and still in process tab. Of course, you have access to the electronic catalog in the home tab as well. Now I'm just going to the home tab. And what's more is that if I just press play, you see that our human somehow passes through the wall, which we know practically is not possible for a normal human. What I'm going to do is just to press reset and make this door automatic, meaning that if there is a human sensed in this area, I would just open the door. We have the component under PM Resources Utilities named Pathway Area Sensor. And this is available in Visual Components 4.4 eCAD. And then I would just place it over here and we need to connect it to this pathway and also to the door. What I'm going to do is to simply click on the component and use these shortcuts. So interface, click on this pathway. It's green meaning connected. And then turn it off using the interface button here as well. And then signals and connect it to the door action. So when this value when a human is detected, then it makes the door action to make some act and open the door. So if I press play, you will see that the, when the resource is detected using this component, the door is forced to do some action. That's that. That's now an automatic door for us. But as you see over here, human delivers the part so close to the robot and there isn't basically any 
safety for the robot function so far. What I'm going to do is to go to the miscellaneous folder or the folder named misc. Scroll down and there is a safety scanner component. I'm going to just put it in front of the over here in front of the robot and then the warning zone area I would put it to 1800 something in this size it could be also a bit bigger 2 meter so when a human is in this yellow zone I want the robot to wait until the value is false so meaning that the human has left the area and when I say the value is false, it means that I'm just going to go to signals and connect this warning signal, which is the yellow area for this component to be connected as an input of the robot, input 100. The protective signal is for the red zone, but at this point I'm just going to use this yellow zone. That's enough for me in this case close it and then we need to exclude some components from this laser meaning that this workstation can be excluded as well as this pathway so it won't give a true signal with these components only when a human is coming in the area just to be on the safe side I could also say the robot is also not counted and excluded from this. What I could do also, we can click on the controller and then say that we want to exclude the obstacles and then click on this scanner as well. So the safety scanner is not considered for us as part of the obstacle because if we don't do that, then this warning zone is considered as an obstacle. So the navigation of these pathways will not work correctly. That's why I need to add it also here under the controller. The last thing we need to do is to go to robot program. So if I click over here, in the beginning of robot program, I'll put wait for input port 100 to be false, then start the program, meaning that there isn't any human in the area. So I would just turn on the signals on the robot. So now you see that the warning zone is green, meaning there is a human, but after it's red, then robot starts to work. Beautiful. And I put also this light tower over here just to show when a process is being done it's going to be red color and then if everything is fine and human can approach is green color and if a work by the robot is going to start it will be yellow and these values you can just set inside the process modeling executor of this robot work which is over here so if i go to process tab and then click on processes and the robot work i just drag this in so you see over here i am getting an access to the components of this light tower green yellow or red it has three properties and then i'm just setting them throughout my executor here is also the place that i'm referring to the main program of the robot so what the robot should do which actual program is under the robot in the program tab okay so the aim here was to implement some level of safety in this work cell which we have at the moment hope you enjoy the tutorial feel free to go ahead and use the components by yourself I would say again that I will leave this layout the initial point next to the video tutorial so you can start at the same point as me have a good one and bye for now.